Okay, 6-8, systems of inequalities. These are going to be graphs, and so you're going to need graph paper. Now, we have graphed inequalities before. This is where we have the dashed line, solid line, and then we're going to shade to one direction. Now, because it's a system, we're going to do two lines. And so, let me pull up some graph paper. And, oh, I want to do a new page graph paper so it's not anything in the background okay so let's get two inequalities okay so there's my two inequalities I'm going to uh, I'm going to separate them over here just so we see the difference in the two and now I'm going to graph now you notice the second one is in y equals mx plus b form so let's go ahead over here and write down the slope and the y-intercept. So the slope of this one is 1, and the y-intercept is negative 3. So let's go ahead and go over here and graph this. y-intercept negative 3. It's going to be right there. My slope is 1 over 1, which means up 1 over 1. Okay, this is less than or equal to so I know this is going to be a solid line. Now the question will be, where do I shade? Okay, so I'm going to pick out my point, again like we did before, my point of 0, 0, and I'm going to substitute it into my equation is 0 less than or equal to 0 minus 3. So is 0 less than or equal to negative 3? Anybody? Of course, 0 is not less than or equal to negative 3. So I do not want to shade the region that has the 0, 0. So I am going to take my yellow highlighter and I'm going to shade in a downward direction just get a little more complete shade this time okay now I'm gonna go to my second equation and I don't have a y equals mx plus b form but this tells me that x is greater than or equal to 4. Remember there are specific lines when there are just x's or just y's. In this case a just x is a vertical line. So I go to where x is 4 and anywhere x is 4 is where my line is going to be. Okay, I know that that was greater than or equal to so that means it's going to be a solid line all the way down like that. Now, here's the difference. I don't have to substitute a point for this one because greater than, when you have a vertical line, think of your number line, is greater than on a number line going to be to the right or is it going to be to the left? Obviously, greater than on a number line is going to go to the right. So I'm going to get a different color, and I'm going to shade to the right of this line. Just a minute. There's probably a magic way to fill this in, but I'll just let you enjoy while I'm talking. Okay. And so what we are looking for is we're looking for where they overlapped. All right, and so in this case, my overlapping region is going to be in this area. This is where the two graphs cover each other. So any variable that's in that region will be my solution. Okay, so that is my solution, the overlapping area. So I'm going to give you an example and I want you to work it on your own so to hit pause 
Okay, so there are your two equations. Y is greater than negative 2x plus 1, and y is less than or equal to x plus 3. So go ahead and hit pause, graph those, shade them, and see if you can find out where the um, overlapping region is. All right, let's do this. Here we go. We're going to have a slope and a y-intercept. And we're going to have a slope of this one and a y-intercept. So the slope of my first one is negative 2 over 1 with a y-intercept of 1. The slope of my second one is 1 over 1 with a y-intercept of 3. Okay, so let's go ahead and graph the first one and get it shaded. So with a y-intercept of 1 and a slope of down 2 to the right 1, I notice that's a greater than, so that's going to be a dashed line. I know some of you are thinking, oh, I didn't put the dashed line. Go ahead and create the dashed line. And now let's do our shading. So we're going to pick 0, 0. So I substitute it in is 0 greater than 0 plus 1. So final answer is 0 greater than 1. And that is an absolute no. So we are going to shade the other direction. So I'm going to go with yellow again. And we are shaded this way. There we go. I'll speed that up a little bit so you don't have to watch me shading. And so I'm not liking, what did my line do? My line switched. Let me fix my line real quick. Or line uh, shifted. Just a second. Okay. And there I fixed my line. I just wasn't pleased with where that was. So let's go to the second one. Now we've got a y-intercept of 3. and a slope of up one to the right one. I notice that that's less than or equal to, so that's going to be a solid line. As soon as I say that, I put a <laughs> dashed line there. That's good. Here we go. That one's already got one. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Again, let's pick pick our 0, 0. It's already there. Let's put it into our equation. 0 less than or equal to 0 plus 3 is 0 less than or equal to 3. And that is an absolute yes. So I need to shade the region that covers that zero. So I'm going to go with green again. Again, through wonderful technology, I won't make you sit through my shading, so I went ahead and shaded that for you. And so now we see that our overlapping region is going to be in this area. So this is our overlapping region. That's where all of our solutions are any of those points will work okay all right guys that's about 10 minutes that is chapter 6 section 8 systems of inequalities